Hey, it's Tess and I'm here again with a bunch of planner junk that I want to share with you. This is like stuff that I really like. Uh, my friend Stephanie asked if I would do a 2017 planner favorites video, but some stuff I bought recently and I wanted to share and some stuff I've had for a while. So I'm going to kind of combine it and put like, like just planner stuff I want to share with you. So you know, so I can enable you and you can spend more money <laughs> because you guys enable me when I watch your videos. But I like that. I don't like spending money, but I like getting new ideas. It's always fun when you're like, damn it, why didn't I think of that? Darn it. Why did I just swear in my video? I am not editing that out. Um, because I don't edit because I'm lazy and I don't want to learn how. <laughs> Anyways. Ouch, back on topic. I am so scatterbrained today. I've been sick for the last three days. On and off, I've taken some cold medicine and I don't really do medicine, so my hair needs some more color depositing conditioner in it. I'll have to do that tomorrow. All right, anyway, so back on track. I'm going to start with an eraser <laughs> because why not? My coworker found these white erasers and I, they were always my favorite the white ones so i don't know they just erase they erase nice they're high polymer erasers by pentel and i got them at walmart and i really like these erasers they erase your pencil lines when you write in like a uh, bojo or something like that they erase them really nice so i think they come in like a three pack and they're really cheap love the eraser i'm putting it back in my drawer <laughs> that way i don't lose it next is some whiteouts you always need a good whiteout if you're Sometimes if you're putting down like date covers or bottom washi and things are showing through, it's nice to have some white out just to white that stuff out. And then you can move on and not think about it. The Scotch Permanent Tape Roller from Walmart, they're $1.88, at least at my store they're $1.88. I don't think all Walmarts are the same prices everywhere, but my store has these for buck eighty-eight, and I buy them three at a time every other time I go, I think because I use a ton of these. Whoops. It says permanent, but I'm questioning that because sometimes it's not permanent. <laughs> sometimes this puppy pops up after a while. So it's like a temporary permanent. <laughs> I don't know. It's not really that permanent. Then I have this Fiskars ruler, which I think is like 50 cents at Walmart. I had a metal ruler from Westcott and the numbers just they just rub off after a while. When you use it a lot, then you can't measure anything with no numbers, you know? So, I mean, who are we kidding? I can't measure anything anyway because I don't know how to read a ruler. I mean, I know what like a quarter inch and a half inch are, but when you get those little lines going, pfft, no clue. I have to have my husband measure it for me. But this ruler is really nice because it's wooden and it doesn't rub off as easy and it has a like a... Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It has like a plastic edge, which makes it really nice if you're writing and you want a straight line. So I really like that. Question though, why, 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 why? This makes no sense to me and it annoys me. And I guess it's to get a straighter line because they make these so cheaply. But see on the end, I want my inch to start at the edge of the ruler. I don't want to have to measure from here. That annoys me. I mean, maybe it's my age, but I remember when I was young, the edge of the ruler is where you started to measure from. This freaks my mind out. I don't like that part, but they're all like that. This is the ruler. See, see how these numbers have rubbed off? And I know that it doesn't start at the edge of the ruler, so I can't measure with it anymore. <sighs> annoying. Completely annoying. But I know it doesn't start at the edge. That's the problem with that ruler is now I, don't, I can't use it to measure anything because I don't have the line to show me where to measure. But if it started at the edge of the ruler, like it should, am I really going on and on about a ruler? I am so sorry. That's what happens when you're sick and you've taken cold medicine too long, and you just are a little bit hyper and high struck. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Reeling it in. Okay. This, I was on a quest for a good hole punch, and I don't know about you guys, but whenever I use one of these, they hurt my hands, especially if I'm, like, chomping away at laminate. 
I know they're super cheap. The little things that collect the holes always break off. They just hurt. This guy that I got at Walmart from, I think the brand's Casemate. Walmart sells that brand. This little guy was 97 cents and he is totally awesome. He's really easy to use and you can punch laminate really nice. And it has a little cover to collect all the little holes like this little guy. And I think I'm going to buy a couple more for backups because I hate when I find something that I like and you never see it again. So I need to buy some more of them. I think next time I go to Walmart, I'm going to buy two more of those. And speaking of hole punches, I bought the Rapsco six hole punch. And I really like this. I broke my last hole punch. It was that open industrial one from Amazon and it broke. This one has all the different measurements inside. So you slide these little things to make it whatever size you want. And if you have an A5, you pull this out. See, it tells you where to set it. Maybe if you can read that. You probably can't, it's not gonna focus. There we go. This is like personal and A5 is down here. Don't pull it out like I did. Um, I mean, it pops right back in. The A5 is at the end, that's the problem. So the A5 is at the end, and then you have to punch it and then flip the page and punch it again, but it'll give you an accurate, accurate measurement. But I am using a compact, <clears throat> not a compact, a pocket size planner this year. So if you just bump these two together, it gives you the pocket size and the bottom collects all the little holes. So they're not all over your floor, but somehow I still manage to get all the little holes all over the darn place. So I love that. And then if you guys don't use the Wish app, you should. I mean, things can be a little wonky on there. They take forever to get to you. However, like washi tape and little planner supplies and stuff is pretty fun to order on there. I got the week washi tape. They call it masking tape. And if I can get it open, I'll show you what it is. Anybody that's looking for days of the week comes on this little roll. And I feel like I was so high strung in this video. I drank too much coffee today. But check this out. It has all the days of the week. And I can't, let me stick it onto this so you can see it. See that? And you can cut them. So if you need like a day, there's enough space in between each word that you can just like hack it and use it singularly, which is really awesome. That's why I got it <clears throat> to use as like date covers or whatever in your planner. And it was 95 cents for this roll. And also, because they were super nice, they sent along with it this little tiny washi tape and its little leaves, little skinny mini leaves that isn't going to focus. Can you see those? So yeah, that's really fun. I've ordered some markers and highlighters from there and I really like it. But be forewarned that it takes like a month to get to you. And I've ordered clothes too, and that, that's went pretty well, except for the Christmas dress I ordered that came yesterday, and I needed it, what, a week ago, but that's besides the point. I'm ready for next year, though. Ready for next year. Okay, the next planner goodie that I really, really like is, and I use them in these little, these little photo books that you get for a dollar from the dollar store or Walmart, die cuts. This one happens to be from River Street Stickers. Wade, the river monster, is super duper cute. So I just stick the laminated die cuts in these little sleeves and then I can grab them as I need them. Um, plan with pizzazz. <laughs> Look how cute that is. And these little s'mores. <laughs> yeah, I just toss them in here and then I can grab them. Um, it works out really good. So I like keeping them in these little cheap things. And uh, yeah, they work great. 
Then I have these $5, well, they're not $5, they're 19 dollars but you can always find these Michaels Craft Smart, Craft Smith. No, uh, paper pads at Michael's for whenever they're five bucks, like grab every one you see because $5 for 48, I think they're 48. Yeah. 48 sheets of paper is a awesome deal. And I'm just putting those back. Love that. Also the Michael's recollections planner. Um, I love this planner. It fits the Erin Condren stickers. It's very closely aligned with the way the Erin Condren's laid out. The, these are awesome planners and you can get them so cheap. Usually they're on sale or you can use a coupon and no problem. They have different layouts, vertical, horizontal, whatever the um, covers will come off. The top of mine's bent because I uncoiled this to take out the rest of the year because I screwed something up. But um, love of this, love memory planning in it. I should do a flip through of this because this is my favorite way to plan. But yeah, the Michael's Recollection Spiral Planners are awesome. Oh, and I found this yesterday at the Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, because there's other Dollar st Stores, but we only have a Dollar Tree. These little blocks, they're acrylic blocks with the lines on them for a dollar. They were over in the, oops, they were over in the craft area in the Dollar Store, you know, with the little stationery and stuff hanging up. I'm sorry, I dropped it. Yeah, and it's three by three inches, so it's a nice size. And I like that it has lines. I don't have one with lines, but you can line it up. So I'm really happy I found that. The next thing is the paper journal store. Um, if you like little clips, she often has dollar sales where stuff's a dollar. She has these really cute crocheted clips. And I really like them because on the back, they have this little felt circle. So they're hard. You know how sometimes crochet stuff because I crochet it can be like flimsy but these are not so I really like those because of that and she also has the palms and often they are a dollar too these are just a color assortment that I have here I have other ones but it's like this little one sticking out of the top of my Filofax or this little one sticking out of the top of my A5 I really like those they're super cute and I'm not a big clip person, so that's that and these. I like more, I don't know, the dimensional ones. And this is from the Yellow Key. And look how pretty that is. And I try to get ones that aren't really seasonal because I'm not, I want things that I can use all year long and then use it in a seasonal planner, but I don't like to like plan around. I feel like I'm sitting like way over here. Sorry about that. My chair, it moves around. I'm gonna blame that. Okay. Pens, I have an assortment of pens. My all time favorite pen is the Energel by Pentel. They come in different colors. Um, they come in specialty barrels, but I really like this pen. And I also have been really liking, I picked this up at Michael's, you can buy them individually. The Uniball Signo, everybody talks about. Really great pen. I really like that one too. These two are awesome pens. Also, the Jelly Roll. Any of the Jelly Roll pens are amazing, but this black one with the glitter is really fun. It just takes the black and kicks it up a notch. I also really like just the plain black one, but I had it in my car and I lost the cap and now I'm afraid the ink's gonna dry out. Bummer. I can see the cap down in between the seat and the console, but I wasn't about to dig it out. I tried and I tried with the pen, but I was afraid I was gonna break it, so. It's still in there, lost. Then the Micron pens. They come in different tip 01, 03, and 05. These are really nice and they don't bleed through your paper. They're archival ink, so they're safe and they're waterproof, which is really nice if you're using like a Bojo or a Hobonichi and you're using watercolor or Bible journaling. These won't bleed when they get wet which is what you need. And that's why I bought them. Not because I have any artistic talent, but because I'm sloppy with water when I'm doing watercolor and I didn't want to mess it up. The Pitt Artist Pens by Faber Castell are also waterproof, but they don't write really well on certain media, certain different um, paints and inks and stuff like that. So these ones aren't as 
nice, but they are nice if you're writing and journaling and then using watercolor. Also, just don't expect these to write on top of the watercolor because they don't always work. Three more things, big things. My Martha Stewart, Stewart, whoops, scoreboard. Let me take these out. I should have taken them out before I... So the scoreboard comes with like this cheap bone folder. It works, but it often makes the paper have like a hole in it. I'm sorry. And there's like dried glue on here. I use this a lot. Like this gets a lot of love. But I love the scoreboard. Not so much the bone folder that came with it, but I bought this huge heavy bone folder on Wish, something else that I bought from Wish. But you can also use, I was using until I got that bigger one, these like things to decorate your fingernails with. You know, you dip them in the fingernail polish and then you dot it on. They work good also for the scoreboard. So I love the scoreboard. And then, <laughs> this is kind of wonky, but I don't remember where I seen it. It was online. It was a DIY tutorial that I actually really, really loved. And it was easy to make. And the stuff was from the dollar store. It's this little um, hot glue gun holder. So it's a, a dollar vase from the Dollar Tree. And you put your glue sticks in. And you can look this up online. And then a little votive cup. And the clear... I guess it's like a little cutting board. They showed a square one, but I can only find the round, which was fine because the things I put on it were round. So you put your little glue gun in, you store your little glue sticks. And I've had this glue gun since I was in high school. <laughs> and I saw a tutorial on how to clean it with aluminum foil. And it worked super well. I about burnt my hand off in the process because I did it while it was hot, but I figured the glue would be softer. And it was, but... Yeah, I burnt myself pretty bad doing that. But I love that little holder. Now everything's like neat and compact. And when I want to use it, I can just slide it out and set it on my desk. And it's ready to go. And whenever the glue gets all on the little votive candle thing, you can just peel it off. It comes off real easy. And then last, but certainly not least, is my sticker storage. When I started out planning quite a few years ago now, I kept my stickers in like clear sleeves. So like bigger like a binder, you know, with the clear pockets that are like this. But I wasn't using everything to its fullest potential because I couldn't find it because everything was jammed inside those little sleeves. So I moved away from that and then I put, excuse me, I put um, cardstock in a three ring binder and I adhered the stickers to that. That worked for a while, but I still wasn't using the stickers. Like I just wasn't it wasn't organized enough for me until I did this last year. I think it was last year. Yeah, it had to be at least a year ago now. I've changed the container a couple of times, but this container works really good. It's hard to find a container that doesn't have, it has sides that are straight up and down and not like curved, like out like this, because that doesn't really work. You need a side that's straight up and down for, the, for it to work right. So the file system for planning stickers is amazing. And I don't know why, I mean, everybody has different tastes and reasons why they do stuff. But this really is, in my opinion, the best system. It's easy. It's organized. It holds a lot of stickers. As you can see, this is all functional stickers. That's a lot of stickers. Huh. Hmm. I have a problem there. Anyways, I have a lot of functional stickers, but I use a lot of functional stickers because I memory plan. And uh, it's really nice to say, hey, I need grocery stickers. Let me put this up here on my shoulder. <laughs> that hurts. But like, it's like really easy to say, hey, I need groceries or I need coffee stickers or I need glitter headers. And I can just thumb my way through and find them. And it's really, really nice. Love that system. I think I could do a little bit better breaking it down even more. But um, I couldn't fit another thing in here if I tried, so <laughs> I'm just going to leave it like that. Yeah, that is all my planning favorites and new things that I found. I, though, do have a question for you guys because I have trouble in one area 
and I guess it's more people that do paper crafts, please, please, please recommend a good glue. I have tried so many glues in liquid adhesives, not necessarily tape runners, but actual glue. Like I was using this Aileen's quick dry tacky glue, but like I've used like it down to here and now it's dried up in the bottle. I can't even get it out. I can snip in the top off thinking the top's stuck shut and I, it just doesn't come out. So it's like, it's so quickly dries that I don't even get to use all the product and things dried up in there. I have a whole basket full of glues that are junk and I don't know, and I don't mean like E6000 or anything. I don't want anything like that. I just want a nice, non-toxic, easy to use glue for paper that holds, not that, you know, pops apart or gets tacky. Now I did buy, hold on a second. I picked up two new ones at Walmart last night. I got this Scotch Create glue stick and I got these permanent glue dots. So, but I, I really want like a liquid glue. Some people use these liquid glues that have a really long needle tip and the glue looks clear in a little bottle. What is that? I can't find it anywhere. So please, please, please help me. If you have a good quick drying liquid glue that doesn't dry in the bottle to render it useless, let me know in the comments below because I need a good glue. And thanks for watching. I will see you again in my next video. And if you do a planner favorites, let me know below so I can watch yours. Thanks. See you again soon. Bye-bye.